Shooting seems to be one of the biggest problems in NBA 2K25 and in today's video I'm going to be showing y'all all of the things the best shooters are doing, you know what I'm saying, to hit their shots in NBA 2K25. Instead of missing game winners, the best players is hitting three step backs and fadeaways and I'm going to be showing you everything you got to do to become one of those top players, man. So make sure if you stick to the end of this video, I'll be showing you the best jump shot. For all centers in NBA 2K25, so you don't want to miss that. Without further ado, let's get to it. The first step when it comes to becoming a better shooter on 2K is just simple, bro. Getting your badges. Now, that's the first method we're going to need to dissect because every build on here is different. To make a two-way playmaking slasher that gets 10 shooting badges. And my guy who got a 6'5 sharpshooter may get 40 shooting badges. So, listen. You got to take the time and figure out what badges do I need. First, most important thing. And the best way to get those badges, bro, I would say would be my career. Just go play my career, bro. Um, you can play five minutes or you can play on pro. Whichever one works for you. And just, man, I ain't going to lie, crash out, bro. Go hard. Go get your badges. You want to get your badges as quick as possible because you're not trying to still be in my career plan to get your badges. It was good the first week of the game to just get badges at wreck and stuff, but now mostly everybody got their badges, bro. So you gonna be at a little disadvantage, bro, going forward. So make sure, you know what I'm saying, you figure out how to get them badges. Cause that's the first step, bro. Ain't no reason you gonna come to park shooting like Steph Curry if you ain't even got your badges, which is the first step of the process. On this shot, and you just become a top shooter on this game. Now, damn it! To get y'all high zones fast on NBA 2K25. Now, there's multiple ways we can go about getting high zones, bro. Getting them in my career, street ball quest, you know what I'm saying? Those are two ways that I find the easiest way. I'm actually getting my hot zones while I'm trying to get the goat mask in my career. If y'all don't want to give me a, if y'all want me to drop a goat mask tutorial, I'll drop the video. I ain't get it yet, but when I get it, that video will come in soon. So basically, <clears throat> bro, listen, easy, simple way to do this, as y'all can see. I've been playing me a couple micro games. I'm going to show y'all right here. This is no cap. Um, I only played about I'm only playing key games, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to get the goat mask, so I'm getting through the season. And then just these six games right here, um, I'm gonna show y'all, man. I really got about three hot zones. I'm a post core. Oh, I'm trying to get hot zones everywhere on the court, right? So as you guys can see, I got three hot zones right here. I'm trying to get the mid range done first. Then after the mid range, we're gonna work to the three, and we're gonna get everywhere good. You know what I'm saying? So basically, all y'all gotta do easy, simplest method. There's no reason to stress yourselves out, bro, and, and do too much. Rookie five minutes bro it makes the fastest way easiest way you make shots you're not supposed to make any and if you're struggling shooting your jump shot you can practice your jump shot as well now right so this is the jump shot we got on currently and i've been using for the past week straight got over over a thousand shots one of the best shots i've used and honestly it's one of the easiest green window cues even though the green windows on this game this year is still flaky it's still one of the best shots i found right so we got jonathan isaac the base J Huff released one. I don't know who J Huff is, bro. Never heard of him, no cap. But bro, we, we, we he got it. We got his shot on. And then we got PJ Tucker, the five minutes IRL. 30 minutes, 0, 0.0 rebounds, six fouls, PJ Tucker, right? So we got on the dude who not even in the league. J Huff and a hacker on PJ Tucker jump shot. Jonathan Isaac base, cool base or base move. He ain't even mad at the base part. Cause it's easy, quick, you know what I'm saying? Push. Visual cue, mine's always on push. Now, you might play on release or set point. That's on you. But it's going to be different when you're shooting the ball. So, just peep that. Release speed. I got it on three-fourths of the way. I, I usually have it maxed out. But for this shot, bro, it's too fast to max out this shot. If you max it out, you're going to be missing shooting lace every play. So, I got it on 75%. Blending, 40-60 right here, bro. Because you can't go... You can't go 50-50. It's not going to look right with P.J. Tucker's shot. So, you got to go 40-60. Even it out. Get the good measurements in. Even on that, bro, you still got A-plus release height, A, A release speed. You got a good defensive immunity. You're 7-1, bro. So, regardless, it being a B, bro, you shouldn't be contested. You're 7 foot. So, anybody you shoot over who not contesting, even if you 6-8 and you contest, bro, it might be like a light contest. And then with dead eye, bro, they, they come. You know what I'm saying? So you can really shoot over anybody, hypothetically speaking. But you just got to master the jump shot first. You feel me? The last one needs time and stability. C minus. That really don't need to be mattering, bro. Last year on 24, I had like a time and stability. It was like a D plus, bro. And I was shooting greens. just crazy. So here we go. 
three things you need to become a better jump shooter on 2K. Shooting has been a real big issue. If you follow these three steps, get all your badges, your high zones, practice your shot, and find a good jumper, you'll be already above the majority, 75% of people who are struggling with shooting and be among the top players on this game. Just keep getting your practice up, keep getting your shots up, keep getting your high zones and badges, and trust me, bro, with practicing more shots, you're going to be a better shooter. Comment down below how this video did for you. It's your boy BZ. See you on the next one. P. You want the shot, you know what I'm saying? Mostly the height requirements, but even not the mid range or the three requirements. So if you got a lower three, as long as the mid range meets the requirement of the shot, you still should be able to get it, whatever you get, right? So this is the jump shot we got on currently, and I've been using it for the past week straight. Got over over a thousand shots, one of the best shots I've used. And honestly, it's one of the easiest green window cues. Even though the green windows on this game this year is still flaky, it's still one of the best shots I've found, right? So we got Jonathan Isaac the base. Jay Huff released one. I don't know who Jay Huff is, bro. Never heard of him, no cap. But bro, we, we, we he got it, we got his shot on. And then we got PJ Tucker, the five minutes IRL. 30 minutes, 0, 0.0 rebounds, six fouls, PJ Tucker, right? So we got on the dude who not even in the league, Jay Huff and a hacker on PJ Tucker jump shot. Jonathan Isaac base, cool base or base move. He ain't even mad at the base part because it's easy, quick. You know what I'm saying? Push. Visual Q mine's always on push. Now you might play on release or set point. That's on you. But it's going to be different when you're shooting the ball. So just peep that. Release speed. I got it on three fourths of the way. I, I usually have it maxed out. But for this shot, bro, it's too fast to max out this shot. If you max it out, you're going to be missing shooting lace every play. So I got it on 75%. Blending, 40-60 right here, bro. Because you can't go you can't go 50-50. It's not going to look right with P.J. Tucker's shot. So you got to go 40-60. Even it out. Get the good measurements in. Let's even on that, bro, you still got an A-plus release height, A, a release speed. You got a good defensive immunity. You're 7-1, bro. So regardless... It being a B, bro, you shouldn't be contested. You seven foot. So anybody you shoot over who not contesting, even if you six eight and you contest, bro, it might be like a light contest. And then with dead eye, bro, they they come. You know what I'm saying? So you can really shoot over anybody hypothetically speaking, but you just gotta master the jump shot first, you feel me? The last but needs time and stability, C minus. That really don't even be mattering, bro. Last year on twenty four I had like a time and stability. It was like a D plus, bro, and I was shooting greens just crazy. So here we go. Still waiting for a big smile out of you. You're up 2-0. What's the story? Are you not happy or you're only half happy or? Still to be happy about. You're up 2-0. Job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. Don't follow rules, it's so renegade. I can't follow rules, I'm so renegade. I'm so uncared. Oh, don't follow rules, I'm so renegade. Okay. Not hustling for myself, trying to see my brother pay. Not hustling for myself, trying to see my brother pay. I'm DTF for like man that was primitive. I'm DTF for like man that was 